Hey family! Hey tastemakers! Tanya here. Welcome to Tanya's Tasteful Table where we live tastefully for less. want to welcome all new people, all of my new subscribers. I want to thank you guys for joining the table. Today I'm excited to share with you how to set up a Kwanzaa display. Okay, it's easy. I'm going to show you an affordable way to set up a Kwanzaa display. Um, I just want to let you know that years ago I ordered a handcrafted a Kanara. A Kanara is a candle holder. It holds all the seven candles. And, um, it, and Kanaras are very expensive. But I had some delay. There was a problem. I didn't even get it uh, by Kwanzaa. And so I sent it back. So uh, like a week after that, I went to Dollar Tree and I saw all the, I saw red, black, and green candles in Dollar Tree. So I got them. And so at that point, that's when I started you know, I started using them as my Kwanzaa display. Now, a little bit about Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is Swahili for first fruits or harvest. It's a celebration of African American culture and it's uh, celebrated December 26th through January 1st, New Year's Day. Okay, now it was created by Dr. Malana Karenga in 1966. It's celebrated by lighting a candle each day to represent each, each of the seven principles. Now, 1966, I was a little girl and that's when uh, uh, Kwanzaa was just taking off and there was a lot of controversy about it because people were thinking, well, you know, you're not uh, Christian and it's not trying to take over it's not trying to tell black people don't celebrate Christmas uh, you know it's just a celebration it's an additional celebration of our culture and it's just not based on the uh, uh, what the commercialism that Christmas is it's like you know Christmas is like you know you supposed to buy someone a gift but Kwanzaa is more like celebrating your culture more like being a gift to someone instead of having to buy a gift, being a blessing, celebrating, and coming together. So that takes me to my next point is the seven principles of Kwanzaa are Umoja, which is unity. It's represented by a red candle. Kujikajalia is self-determination. I love that one. And it's represented by a red candle. Ujima is collective work. And it's a red candle. Ujama is cooperative economics. You know, so pull your, your resources together to make things happen. I love that one. That's uh, the black candle. And uh, Nia means purpose. And it's a green candle. Kaumba is creativity. It's a green candle. And Imani is faith. And I love when little girls, there's a lot of little girls named Imani or Iman for the boys. That's cute. Faith. It's a green candle. Okay, now to set up a Kwanzaa display, and I'm going to show you in a minute, I'm going to show you what I did. Um, it's a makeka, is a woven straw mat, and it represents the foundation. And everything on the Kwanzaa display touches that mat. And mazile is fresh fruit, celebrating the harvest. The harvest. A kanara is the candle holder. It holds all. It does it holds all seven candles. The mashuma saba are the seven candles. Three red ones represent the struggle. One black one black for the people three green ones are for hope and the muhindi is ears of corn corn represents children and each child you have you need to have represented on your kwanzaa display if you don't have any children yet or don't have any children just one ear of corn okay so let's go on over and i'm going to show you how to create a Kwanzaa display for under $20. Okay, everybody. 
Okay guys, now this is my Kwanzaa display. And I got this cup. This is the Unity Cup. This is what's used as a, a tradition. This, there's a drink in here and everyone at the celebration will pass around the Unity Cup to represent Unity. Okay, I'm gonna take that out. This is a basket of fruit. Kwanzaa means a uh, harvest. And I got this basket from Dollar Tree. And uh, corn stands for each child, so I have that in here. And on the day of your uh, event, you will have some fresh fruit in here, any fresh fruit that you want. And But I just have some faux fruit just to represent uh, today. It's a little while before Kwanzaa. And then here's the makeka. This is the woven mat. And I got this at Walmart for $2. And it's the foundation and everything touches the mat. You see where I have the fruit on here, I have the unity cup, and I have it all on a wooden tray. Got this tray from Dollar Tree, it's from there. Um, they have that plus section where you can get things for three, five, and ten dollars. This was a five dollar um, tray here, it has a handle, so I love it. So I put the makeka on the tray, and then we have all seven of our candles represented here. And uh, greens for the harvest, for the future, blacks for the people, red is for the struggle. Okay, so this one's five dollars, we got seven dollars, fourteen dollars, including the candles, fourteen, that's fifteen dollars. $16 for this basket. And uh, let's see, 16 Then there's $17 for this piece of corn here. Your corn that came from Dollar Tree. All this stuff came from Dollar Tree except for the faux fruit. Okay, and then for $17,000. Uh, seven, then add three more dollars. Get some fruit. Get a you know an apple and a pear, and then you know some grapes or whatever. So you can do this for twenty dollars. Okay. So just wanted to share that with you. Wanted to share my and I'm what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep this right with my Christmas uh, display here. It's not a represent. It's not to take over for Christmas. It's it blends in well. The color scheme's the same, green, red, and black. So, on a December 26th, I'm going to pull this back out. I'm going to put it right here along with my Christmas tree. Then I'll take everything down January 1st. Tastemakers, thank you for so much for joining me today and sharing my Kwanzaa display with you. I appreciate your support and I appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. And um, if anyone's new here, if you like content like, like this, what we do here at Tanya's Tasteful Table, we're a lifestyle brand where we celebrate, we create, we cook, we do everything, we live tastefully for less. All right, well, thank you guys so much, and see you in my next video. And bye, Mom. And oh, I forgot, don't forget to like this video. Uh, if you see, you see the like button, hit like if you like it. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you join the table. Subscribe, and then hit the bell. I know there's a lot to do, but this is what keeps us on TV. This is like regular TV. You know, uh, YouTube needs to know that, you know, there is some interest in my content and so hit the like button subscribe and hit that bell notification that bell notification will let you know when I upload any new content all right there's nothing else you have to do when I upload something you will be alerted and you can immediately see what's going on 
All right, guys. Thank you so much. Joyous Kwanzaa. Bye, Mom.